Hi, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 84. I know I said 84 last week, but I was wrong. I was getting a little ahead of myself. This is episode number 84, so welcome. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen like everyone thinks they do. They're made, but you can do it, you can make it, and I show you how to do it in a convenient and fun and attainable way. Deal? deal. So thanks for joining us and thank you to all the you streamers who watch us live every Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. time zone, Eastern Time. Um, join us at noon. I answer all your questions so you don't have to wait for my emails, you know, for me to email you back. Today's episode is uh, called Two Delicious Protein Shake Recipes. We are doing one recipe that Chris loves and one recipe that I love. So it just kind of goes to show you, uh, one of them may be a little bit higher in carbs, one of them may be a little bit higher in fat, but it's a good combination for you to incorporate into your, um, your, into your meal plan because you want a little bit of variety. And a lot of people email me asking me, you know, what's a great protein shake? So I figured we'd share some of those with you. Okay, let's get started. The first one we're going to do is going to be a strawberry banana cheesecake one. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? I'm going to show you. And it's not like 600 calories either. Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm, I'm using this, you can use a blender, you can use whatever. I just like things that are small and compact. Blenders are just too bulky for me. So what you're going to do is first you're going to take about um, a cup of strawberries. I have frozen strawberries. You can use them fresh. I'm going to throw them in here. Oops. Um, I thawed them a little bit because you don't want to have them too frozen. Otherwise, it's going to be way too hard with the... Uh, you know, you gotta freeze them, okay, or you gotta thaw them. So I have those, and now I'm going to add one, uh, half, four ounces of fat-free milk. So it's gonna be about a half a cup if you're not sure what uh, the ounces are. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour that in. Okay, ugh, oh, making a mess, okay. Now I'm just going to mix this really quick right now because what you want to do, the secret is to making these is that you don't want to just throw them all in and mix them at once if you're using something like this because then it might stick. So excuse the noise for a moment. Okay, so I mixed it in a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to add three ice cubes. Okay. And a half of a banana. There we go. Next thing is going to be one scoop of protein powder of your choice. I typically like to use uh, whey isolate proteins. This is the Beverly International brand. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's probably one of the best designer proteins out there because it doesn't give any stomach issues and it feels, uh, you know, it tastes really awesome. I'm telling you right now, it's great. Now here is a little secret that I'm going to put in here. This is going to be fat-free, sugar-free, cheesecake jello pudding. I'm just going to put one teaspoon of it in here. Okay, and you'll see why because it just kind of gives it this consistency that's just amazingly heavenly. And then I'm going to put one teaspoon of the sugar-free, fat-free strawberry, or you can, you can use raspberry or any other, res, uh, any other berry of the jello. I wish these came in easier packages. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just add in about two ounces of water, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. You can eyeball it. Add more, add less if you want to. It's all up to you, because the water is just kind of like an added thing, just to give it a little bit more. Uh, if you want it runnier, if you want it thicker, ease up on the water, add more. Now I'm just gonna run it. I think we're done. All right, let's have a taste. Mmm. Look how thick that is. That is so good. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Now this one, this one has, what's that? Tip it forward. Yeah. Okay. You want me to dump it in a glass? Sure. How about I dump it in a glass? This one has 300 calories in it. Okay. Three grams of fat, 35 carbs, 7 grams of fiber, 25 grams of sugar, and 27 grams of protein. Now this is a really good breakfast. I know um, some of you are like, oh, 35 you know, grams of carbs. It's healthy carbs. You have a lot of fiber in this stuff. It's a little bit higher in sugar if you're trying to watch your sugar, but it's a great treat. It's way better than eating cheesecake, okay? All right, where do you want me? I'll just put it right here. Put it right here. Chris is going to enjoy that. Okay, 
The next one I'm going to do, this one is mine, okay? Now that one was awesome. This one, it's a little bit more leaner, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in about uh, four ounces, no, I'm sorry, about two ounces of water, so about a fourth cup. Then what I did was I, bre I brewed coffee last night, really strong coffee. I stuck it in the refrigerator. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some coffee in this, four ounces. This one is great before your cardio, great before workout, gives you a boost. This one, by the way, is called my peanut butter mocha. Okay, set this down. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add about two ounces of skim milk. You can skip the milk if you want to, but I'm just going to add about two ounces, about an eighth of a cup. Eyeball it. There we go. Mmm, it's good already. I'm also going to add one Splenda packet, because like I said, this one is lower sugar. This one is, you know, something good for like if you're, if you're dieting, if you're training for a show, anything like that. Okay, next thing, natural peanut butter and Hershey's cocoa. They even have the cocoa powder. And this stuff is only 10 calories for a tablespoon. It's really awesome to add in there because it's high in antioxidants. Same with the coffee, very high in antioxidants. It's great. Putting one tablespoon in here. Then I'm gonna put one tablespoon of uh, the peanut butter. I'm just gonna use one of these, so it might stick. There we go, about one tablespoon of that. Okay. And now, of course, the protein powder. And by the way, if you're interested, this is Beverly International, like I said, and it's the cookies and cream flavor. And it's 21 grams of protein per scoop. Throw that in there. I don't like to use any ice. I just like to um, mix it all in and get all that strawberry out of here. I don't want any strawberry in mine. Okay. And you want to make sure that the coffee is nice and chilled. Nice and chilled. There we go. Good. I like to mix it a little bit longer because sometimes the, uh, the, the peanut butter will get chunky and sticky because natural peanut butter it's a little bit more chunkier. Um, I wouldn't use Jif. Stick to the natural stuff. All right, let's check it out. And nutrition facts on this. See, it's a little bit runnier, but it's just like a little, you know, morning shake. You have 250 calories in this. This one's a little bit higher in fat than the other one. 10 grams of fat. You have healthy fats from the peanut butter. Then you also have 10 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber. Carbs are a little bit lower, 10 grams versus the 35 in the other one. Two grams of sugar and 25 grams of protein. Mm, mm. Oh my gosh, I love. If you love coffee and mocha, you guys try this one. If you love cheesecake, this thing is insane. I mean, this one is so good. Chris is so lucky that he gets to enjoy this right now. I can't, unfortunately. But these are two really great uh, meal replacement drinks. You could just throw it into a water bottle and and go. And you can bring it with you. There are no excuses. Just make it, make it the night before, too, you guys. You can do it. Thank you for joining us. You can email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com. We're doing a little giveaway, though. I forgot to mention it. We are giving away one MadeFitTV t-shirt. What's that? And the water bottle. And the water bottle we're giving away? Mm -hmm. Water bottle and a t-shirt. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to comment or email me on the... Uh, what's that? Comment. Only comment. You're only commenting. That's the only one I'm going to accept on MadeFitTV.com. Commenting... On this one, madefittv.com, I want you to tell me a protein recipe that you like. You're going to send me a protein recipe, and then we're going to feature it on one of our shows, okay? We're going to pick, we're going to have a taste off, and we're going to pick them, and we're going to do them. So I want you to tell me what you think about yours and why yours should be featured on Made Fit TV. So if you want one of these, come on, comment. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on madefittv.com. We'll see you later. I'm going to enjoy my shake. Mmm. It's better than folders. <laughs>